the Toowoomba Second Range Crossing Project is a four-lane highway that runs from Warrigo Highway East Interchange to Warrigo Highway West Interchange and then continues as a two-lane carriageway until the Gore Highway. The 41km road project has been divided in three areas, east, central and west. The eastern section connects from the Warrigo Highway at Helidon to Mount Kinnock, where it arrives to the Toowoomba Plateau, crossing under the New England Highway. The central section continues through Mort Street and Boundary Road interchanges and finishes after the Warrigo Highway West interchange. From there, the west section runs through the Cecil Plains Road interchange until the connection with the Gore Highway. The main structure of the project is an 817 metre long viaduct over two deep valleys located east of Mount Kinnock at the end of the eastern section with a longitudinal grade of 6.5% that allows the entrance of the highway to Toowoomba, avoiding the use of tunnels through the Great Dividing Range. The Toowoomba Second Range Crossing Viaduct has 22 spans, with a typical span length of 38 metres, with 11 Super T girders. It overpasses the QR Western Rail Line. Divided into two deck lengths, the expansion joints are located at abutments and at Pier 11. It has 21 piers, with a tallest height of 51 metres. The foundations are designed with six piles per footing, which allow reducing the earthwork movements. The bridge is constructed using a modern day construction technology that consists of a launching truss gantry for the installation of the Super T girders that forms the main part of the structure. The launching gantry is assembled behind abutment B, where it has developed the load test sequences required for the approval of the launching system. Due to the construction program, the erection of the girder starts at the highest side of the bridge, next to the New England Highway, erecting the girders downhill. The erection of the span 22 is done during a rail line closing time slot of four days. The launching gantry needs to stand on top of six steel columns, rail frame and rollers to move over the piers for the erection of the girders. Once span 22 is erected and concreted, it starts the erection of the four span sequence that allows reducing the construction time of the viaduct. With six launching gantry supports placed on top of the piers, the girders of the following four spans are erected. In order to launch the girder over the span, the launching gantry has several anchorage systems for movement of the girder and self-launching. When the girder is lifted, the truss is anchored to the middle support to allow the movement of the winches with the girder. Once the girder has advanced to the next position, the master winch is anchored to the rail frame, allowing the self-launching of the truss. First, the three central girders are launched, followed by the girders next to them. For the erection of the edge girders, they're lowered on top of the headstock and then shifted to their final position, completing the span, placing the girder next to them. Using the same system to move over the piers, the launching gantry starts the relocation of the supports when the four spans are launched. With the rear service cranes, it's temporarily relocated the rollers, crossbeam and steel columns on top of the rail frame support legs and end of the launched girders. Continuing with the sequence, the launching gantry is positioned to pick up the launching gantry support elements with the front service cranes, relocating them in their final position. As soon as the first launching gantry support is relocated from the pier, it will start the concreting works of the deck and, once it achieves the strength, the next four-span sequence starts. Once the launching is finished, the launching gantry is removed from abutment A. Nexus Infrastructure, by using the most modern and innovative technology, constructs the viaduct in a record time. This construction methodology allows maintaining the construction schedule of the Toowoomba Second Range Crossing within the agreed time constraints, assuring a safe process for one of the most challenging sections of the project.